Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Garden of Bam Bam character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Captain Fiddles. So we'll go into his backstory, gameplay mechanics, location, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this is not linked to the overall universe and canon of Garten or Ban Ban. This is just a fun what if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell, we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Also, do be sure to leave a like on this video as we're going to be doing our community live stream very soon, where we're going to make our own community character like a Poppy Playtime character or a FNAF character. But we'll only be doing those live streams if we get enough likes on our videos, so do be sure to leave a like. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Captain Fiddles. So previously in our Garden of Ban Ban character concept series, we've looked into the characters that didn't make an appearance in Garden of Ban Ban 2. So far we've explored Stinger Flynn and Sheriff Toadster. But now we come to yet another character that we haven't seen yet. And this character is the original Captain Fiddles. As we all know, in Chapter 2, we see a number of Captain Fiddles clones laying around in the hospital area. From the painting on the wall, we see there's a dark green, brown, orange, red, yellow, pink, and light green variation of Captain Fiddles. Each of these variations seem to have a unique personality trait due to their different facial expressions. The only one that we don't see is the original lavender colored Captain Fiddles. This well and truly could be the original Captain Fiddles, due to us seeing them in the family mural and also seeing them on the wall in Chapter 1. But the question is, why was there so many different variations? Were they all attempts to make the perfect Captain Fiddles? Or were they all designs to be experimented on? Or even have their mysterious blood harvested from them? As we can see, there were barrels full of the stuff. And as to what purpose this mysterious fluid has isn't quite clear yet. Maybe it can be used to replicate more clones, or maybe multiple doses of the fluid can be used to enhance them. Especially since we see a much larger and hostile Captain Fiddles. But regardless of all these questions, the main question is where is the original Captain Fiddles? He isn't in the hospital, so where else could he be? Well, our main protagonist character will find out soon enough. So as we return to the player, they've been exploring the kindergarten and trying to find their missing children. So far they've had no luck, but now they find themselves in a new location at the kindergarten. As they've traveled deeper into its depths, they've come across another research facility. It seems like this could be the place where they brought all the other characters to life. All around are more barrels of the mysterious liquid. Maybe this liquid played a key role in their creation. As they venture through this area, they come across a locked door. They need to find the keycard to get through. And this is where they come to their first puzzle. In front of them is a number of slots that need specimen vials placed into them. The player needs to look around the facility and search for the specimen vials. As the player searches around, they get a strange feeling that someone is watching them. It seems that these samples are quite important. Who knows what they could be for? Maybe they were a certain strain of the mysterious fluid. Once the player has found all the vials, they place them into the slots. All the vials empty and drain into another compartment. Then out of the table rises a syringe and the keycard. This syringe of strange liquid could come in handy, so they decide to take it along with the keycard as well. They open the door and come to a long corridor, and that's where they see Captain Fiddles. He's just standing there staring at the player. Wherever the player moves, Captain Fiddle's eyes stare right at them. The player has to be careful not to move too quickly and surprise him, or else who knows what Fiddles will do. As they get closer towards him, he runs off down the corridor. Maybe he was scared, or maybe he's luring the player into somewhere much more dangerous. The player has no choice but to follow him. As they do, they come to the next fatal puzzle. On the ground are two sets of tiles, both red and green coloured. As the player walks along these tiles, they need to choose which one to step on. Some will be solid enough to walk on, and others will be brittle and weak. If the player steps on the wrong tile, they'll fall underground where Captain Fiddles will jump scare them. So through trial and error, the player needs to figure out which tile is the safest. And if they lose and start over again, they need to remember the right sequence. Step by step, the player inches their way through the tiles. 
Once they finally made it, they walk towards the final door. Just as they do, Captain Fiddles bursts out of the tiles behind them and leaps towards the player. Just before Fiddles can attack them, they inject him with the syringe. Captain Fiddles cries out in pain and lets out a shriek. His pupils shrink and his body starts to contort and crack. He falls back down into the tiles and the player is free to move on to the next area. This area is once again filled with multiple barrels of the mysterious fluid. It seems like this is the storage area for all of the remaining barrels. At the end of the room, they can see an elevator. As they approach the elevator, something crashes through the ceiling. What on earth is that thing? Is that Captain Fiddles? It seems that the serum has drastically mutated his body. His mouth is now filled with even more deadly sharp teeth, and all over his body, it seems that the sharp teeth are growing all throughout it. Even his hand has morphed into one big sharp tooth. The play needs to get away from mutant fiddles as quickly as they can. So in this gameplay segment, Captain Fiddles will chase the player throughout this area. The player needs to find a place to hide in order to lose mutant fiddles. After Fiddles has lost the player, he'll search around for them. What was the player going to do? If they wanted to get past him, they would need to take him out. The player still has the empty syringe, and this gave them a bright idea. If they fill up the syringe at any of the barrels, they can then inject mutant Fiddles once again. If they inject him with enough serum, then maybe he'll mutate to the point where he can't even move anymore. So that's exactly what they did. They snuck over to the barrels and filled the syringe and then they snuck up on Fiddles and injected him. He let out another screech as more and more of the painful spines grew out of his body. It was working. Just a couple more injections and that should do it. So the player needs to repeat the process of hiding, filling a syringe and injecting mutant Fiddles. After each injection, he would change more and more. It finally got to the point where mutant Fiddles couldn't even move their body. Finally, the player had done it. As much as Mutant Fiddles wanted to attack the player, he just couldn't do to his new overly mutated body. The player takes one final look at the mutated Fiddles and makes their way to the next area. They were lucky enough to defeat Fiddles and still be in one piece, but next time they might not be so lucky. The player needs to hurry up and finish what they came here for. They need to find their children before it's too late. Will they ever find them? Or will Bam Bam's devious plan come to its completion? As for the answers to those questions, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Captain Fiddles and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, on to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.